There are quite literally millions of views on YouTube for beauty and aesthetics content every single month, and your med spa could be one of those recommended videos. All that YouTube content can also really do a great job as doubling as SEO slash blog content, as well as short form content for your Instagram Reels and TikTok accounts. In this video, I'm going to explain. My name is Frank. I'm the founder of Saga Pixel. If you'd like to book a time to talk to me about your med spa's marketing, there will be a link below. I'd also add that if you do go ahead and start repurposing your YouTube content as blog content for your SEO, we have a full checklist and video series that explains each one of those steps that I'm going to link to in the description. If you do a good job with all the stuff that I outline in that checklist, this content will get discovered not only on YouTube, but also through Google. All right, so let's get into it. Let's start with why you should be focused on YouTube. First of all the social media channels, it's the only one really that is evergreen. If you take a look at the search, how does microneedling work? you're going to see that the top videos are from six years ago, one year ago, two years ago, 12 years ago, meaning that the producers of these videos put these up years ago and they continue to get views. Honestly, this doesn't happen with Instagram Reels, TikTok, or Facebook. It's very rare that you're going to put something up and six years later, Instagram Reels is still going to be recommending that as part of their algorithm and that you're going to continue to rack up views. YouTube gives you a little bit more time as well. It's very rare on platforms like Instagram Reels and TikTok for people to sit around and watch a five or 10 minute video. They will on YouTube though, which gives you a better opportunity to communicate who you are, what your med spa is about, and possibly get them to join an email list or just feel a little bit more at ease with you than you ever will be in 30 to 45 seconds with a TikTok. And given that you have more time to produce this content, it actually lends itself to converting it into SEO content afterwards. So when this works, this is what it looks like. You produce a piece of content like I did right here, this SEO versus social media for medical spa marketing. This was a video that I shot. This was not an article that I wrote, but we took that same transcript, turned it into an article, and now we have it ranking in organic search. Here we are, the number one result below this featured snippet. All in this piece of content probably required about 15 minutes of my actual time. Now, maybe an hour or two to edit, and but that was done by our editor, Luhan, and probably about 15 minutes to turn it into an, a search optimized article. So what does this whole process look like? To start off, you need to do your content ideation. I highly recommend that you follow the bars framework. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but I will link to it in the description. If you do that right, you're going to avoid a lot of wasted time. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you follow that process if you're planning content for YouTube and SEO. Next, you're gonna to put together an outline for your video. This is gonna do two things. First, it's gonna help you to be fast when it comes to actually producing the video because you know what's coming up next. It's gonna increase the likelihood of the content being well-organized and covering all the points that you need to make sure that you cover. It's gonna maximize the, the likelihood of it actually ranking on Google because once you do turn it into an article, you wanna make sure that your competitors don't have a more comprehensive information dense version of the same topic. And lastly, it's really just going to help you to collect your thoughts. Once you've done your outline, you then need to put together your hook. Basically, the first three seconds of your video are going to determine whether people watch the next 15 seconds. And the next 15 seconds are to determine whether the people watch the next minute or so. And then overall, whether the video moves along or not is going to determine whether people actually engage with your content. Your hook needs to be scripted. Those first three seconds, you need to make sure that you write those in a way that people are actually going to watch it and that you're going to have a chance to pitch them on that first 15 seconds. Once your video is all shot, you're going to pass that over to your editor. They're going to make it all look great, add titles, transitions, background music, edit out the slow parts, anything where you're starting to kind of lose people, and then it goes live.